so here's a brief overview on today's job. It's this maple here over the house and then this limb here. And then some stuff on the neighboring property. I'm gonna see if I can get that all tackled today. If not, we'll rent the equipment for another day. I thought it might be beneficial to go over some of the equipment I use while working in the bucket or some kind of lift style setup. First start out, I usually carry one or two rigging ropes. Uh, this is Samson here. The other one, uh, I can't remember, but I got it off of the Game of Trees website. Um, just camp harness. I think this is the most comfortable one I've come across, along with a tether system for tying in. Um, this thing here, extremely underrated. You can get out, reach things, and, and grab with it. Really great for tip tying and stuff like that. And then the scabbard has been a huge time saver for um, not bending over and setting your saw down every time you're done with a cut. I just keep that in the middle on a lanyard so I can access it from both sides. And then here's the kind of the goody carabiner here. It's just on a monster uh, ISC steel carabiner. And then the, the point of this is that everything is, has multiple uses. A lot of pulleys. Um, pinto pulleys for for rigging light stuff and self rigging and then i usually keep um extra pigs for uh refueling up here because it really stinks if you're by yourself and have to come all the way down to fuel up and then a handsaw way more useful than you'd you'd think usually try to have it on me and that's just a quick rundown of stuff i use while i'm in the lift um put a comment down below of kind of if you run a similar setup or um, what your what your setup's like. I like running the bugs because all you got to do is flip them down and then you have chainsaw protection sawdust not getting in your eye and then when you're done you can just take them and push them up and they stay there and they're out of your way. I like them. I also run the Cine, Cine communication systems. I have a couple helmets and um, if I'm working with somebody else, we can always communicate. Another good thing uh, is it allows you to play music. So if I'm by myself, I'll play music in the tree. It seems like there's some footage uh, missing. That's because there is. I was having an issue with some of my GroPros not recording. They would like start a recording and then something would cut out. So just imagine that I'm brushing this thing out. And that's on video. <laughs> so I, I put in there uh, some of the highlights. And then there's a cool uh, self-rig with a DMM pulley. Um, if you're not following Seth McPherson on Instagram, um, I'll put his handle there. Always great insights into rigging and, and uh, trying to make stuff better. He's an awesome climber. I'm gonna brush out what I can and get some kind of a solo rigging set up so I can move these uh, pieces towards the ground and then we'll go from there.
Thank you all so much for your support. I enjoy um, enjoy making these videos for you all. I'm just, I'm still, I'm humbled. So thank you for being here and uh, thank you for watching the videos and I'll catch you on the next one.